from the legendary Wayne Gretzky's iconic 99 to Sidney Crosby's date of birth inspired 87. The world of the NHL is not just about slap shots and hat tricks. We had the hat trick. It's a world where jersey numbers carry different stories. Ever wondered why Mario Lemieux chose 66? Or what led Eric Lindros to pick 88? Well, let's lace up our skates to dive into these fascinating stories. Here's a question to ponder. What hidden stories and personal tributes might lie behind your favorite player's jersey number? Wayne Gretzky, famously known as the Great One, didn't just randomly stumble upon the number 99. It was a twist of fate mixed with a dash of necessity. You see, young Gretzky initially had his eyes set on the number 9, idolizing Gordie Howe. But as luck would have it, that number was already taken when he joined his junior team. His coach, spotting a unique opportunity, suggested doubling down. Literally. Why not two nines? And just like that, 99 wasn't just a number. It became a symbol, an icon synonymous with hockey greatness. Gretzky's career was nothing short of spectacular, shattering records and changing the game. And speaking of changing the game, wait till you hear about Mario Lemieux and his mirror magic with numbers. Lemieux, stepping onto the ice, decided to flip the script. Or should we say, the digits. He went for 66, a mirror image of Gretzky's 99. It wasn't just a jersey number, it was a statement, a sly hint of the rivalry and respect between two of the game's greatest. And well, his career was nothing short of a fairy tale, filled with heroic comebacks and mind-bending plays. His number 66 became a symbol of excellence in Pittsburgh and beyond, a beacon of hope and resilience. Next up, let's skate into the story of Connor Bedard, where destiny meets a dash of numerology. Connor, a rising star in the hockey world, chose his jersey number with a mix of ambition and a nod to the legends before him. Opting for 98, Bedard was just a digit shy of Gretzky's iconic 99. It's like saying, I'm on the heels of greatness, just watch me. But wait, there's more to this story. Our young star didn't merely choose his number. He owned it with a confidence that belied his age. Rob Van Stone shared an amusing story about this. He recalled a time when Connor, only five at the time, confidently requested the number 98. This prompted their manager to curiously inquire about who 98 was. Without missing a beat, Connor asserted, I'm 98. The room was filled with a mix of surprise and admiration. The adults exchanged glances, a blend of amusement and disbelief in their eyes, but no one challenged him. And with that, Connor simply went on to play, as if claiming his identity was the most natural thing in the world. Now, let's glide over to Jordan Tutu, where the story behind his number is as unique as his name. Tutu, the first Inuk player in the NHL, brought more than just his skills to the ice. He brought a number with a pun so perfect, it's almost comedic. Tutu wore the number 22. Why? Because it's 2-2. Two, two. Get it? It's a playful twist that resonates with his unique name, making him an unforgettable character in the league. But 2-2's journey in the NHL was more than just a clever number choice. He was known for his gritty playing style, his ability to energize his team, and his fearless presence on the ice. 2-2's career was a blend of toughness and heart, making him a fan favorite. His number 22 became synonymous with his relentless spirit and determination, a reminder that behind every number, there's a story, a personality, and a legacy. Buckle up as we shift gears to Kevin Adams, where the universe aligns in the form of a jersey number. Kevin, a name that might not echo through the halls of hockey like Gretzky or Lemieux, but his choice of jersey number, 42, carries a huge significance. Adams, a fan of Douglas Adams, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, chose 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. It's a number that transcends the ice reaching into the realms of science fiction and existential humor. On the rink, Adams wasn't just a player. He was a walking, skating philosophical question wrapped in a hockey jersey. His career, marked by solid plays and leadership, was always underlined by this quirky, thought-provoking choice of number. Next, we're shooting for the stars with Maurice Rocket Richard, whose number story is heartwarmingly down to earth. Maurice, a name etched in the annals of hockey history, chose his number 9 for a reason as tender as it is memorable. It was a father's tribute to his newborn daughter, who weighed in at 9 pounds. This number became synonymous with Richard's explosive speed and fiery playing style, earning him the nickname Rocket. His career was a tapestry of breathtaking goals, passionate play, and an indomitable spirit that inspired not just his team, the Montreal Canadiens, but an entire generation of hockey fans. 
Richard's number nine was more than just a digit. It was a symbol of his love, his legacy, and the fiery passion he would brought to the game. From the heartwarming story of a father's love, we now slide over to Sidney Crosby, whose number choice is a date to remember. As a titan on the ice, he didn't just randomly pick his number, he turned his birth date into a brand. Sporting the number 87 for a very personal reason, he was born on 8787. Crosby's choice is a clever twist on personalizing his gear. This number has become synonymous with his legacy as one of the greatest players of his generation. Crosby, with his unparalleled skill and leadership, has not just worn the number, he has defined it. Every time he steps on the ice, number 87 is not just a part of his uniform, it's a reminder of the unique path he's carved in the NHL. From breathtaking goals to heart-stopping assists, Crosby's career is a testament to the magic that happens when talent meets a number with personal significance. Now, let's shift gears from a birthday celebration to Eric Lindros, whose number 88 has a story that tugs at the heartstrings. As a powerhouse on the ice, he chose the number 88 not just for its symmetry, but as a heartfelt homage. The number 88 was a tribute to his mentor, a former official, and the father of one of his childhood friends who wore the number 8. When Lindros played for the Oshawa Generals and found 8 taken, he simply doubled down, turning it into 88. This number became a symbol of respect and remembrance, a constant reminder of the influence and guidance he received off the rink. Every time he donned the 88, it was more than just suiting up for a game. It was honing a legacy that shaped him as a player and a person. From the touching tribute of Eric Lindros, we glide into the unique story of John Davidson and his double zero distinction. John, a goaltender with flair for the unique, chose the number 00, a number as rare as a goalie scoring a goal. In 1977, Davidson, usually donning number 30, decided to switch to double zero. Why? Because in the world of goaltending, zeros are golden. They represent shutouts, the ultimate goal for any netminder. This number choice was more than just a fashion statement. It was a bold declaration of his aspirations between the pipes. Davidson's career, marked by impressive saves and a commanding presence in the crease, was now highlighted by a number as distinctive as his style of play. The double zero on his back was a constant reminder of the shutouts he aimed for, a symbol of his dedication to keeping the puck out of his net. From the double zero heroics of John Davidson, we now delve into the ketchup inspired jersey number of Heinz. It's saucier than you think. While not a household name like some of his counterparts, Sean Heinz made a quirky splash in the NHL with his number choice. Heinz wore the number 57. And no, he wasn't just a fan of varieties. Playing in Pittsburgh, the home of Heinz ketchup, Heinz's jersey number was a playful nod to the famous 57 on the Heinz label. It's a number choice that's both whimsical and geographically fitting blending local flavor with on-ice action. Heinz's career, though not as decorated as others, was spiced up by this unique number choice, making him a memorable figure for fans and a trivia favorite. Every time he hit the ice, number 57 wasn't just a number, it was a tasty tribute to Pittsburgh's saucy heritage. Now, let's spread the excitement as we move to Steve Hines, who also dipped into the condiment pun fun for his jersey number. Steve Hines, another player who embraced the flavorful world of jersey numbers, chose 57. And it wasn't just because he liked condiments. His selection was a clever play on his last name, Hines, echoing the famous Hines 57 sauce. Starting his career with the Boston Bruins, Hines had to wait until his time with the Columbus Blue Jackets to finally don the number 57. This number became part of his identity, a fun twist that fans couldn't help but relish. Hines' career, seasoned with solid performances and memorable moments, was further spiced up by this number choice, making him stand out in the minds of hockey aficionados. Every game he played, Hines wasn't just a player on the ice, he was a walking, skating pun, adding a dash of humor to the serious game of hockey. And there you have it, folks, a whirlwind tour through the stories behind some of the most iconic jersey numbers in NHL history. But now, I turn the ice over to you. If you were an NHL star, what number would you wear on your jersey and why? Share your dream number and the story behind it in the comments below. Let's see who can get the most creative with their jersey number backstory. Remember to leave a like and subscribe.